know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich. I can't stand Norwich. It's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what's going on? Went back to another video. Before we get into this video, I apologise for all the wind inside of this video. It might affect my voice. The video might move all over like it is now. I do apologise. You are on a tripod, but I am trying to get these videos out every single day to you as fast as I can. Now, yesterday, I spoke to you about a transfer, Larson from the Dutch League. Now, this is the thing. When I seen the news, apparently he was going to be confirmed, apparently he had his medical, etc, etc, etc. Well, I don't look the best now, do I? Apparently he's had a bid rejected. Not ideal, but there has been a bid rejected for Larson. So there's me to say yesterday, um, you know, bigging up the lad. About all his YouTube clips, about his season, inside the area days with his old team, what have you. Expecting Middlesbrough to obviously announce him signing. I look a bit like a fool, because of course I've done a video saying that Burr going to announce him. And now Burr's obviously had a bid rejected. So it doesn't look ideal, but let me tell you about it anyway. So Larson, as far as I was concerned, as far as what everybody else on Twitter, on Facebook, on all forums were concerned, we see an article going around. I've only done a video on whatever I've seen, um, and that's all I can do during the transfer window, try and bring you guys updates. I see the post that Larson had his medical on Monday, training the first team Tuesday, and today should have been his announcement day, or even tomorrow should be his announcement date. Now, from what I'm hearing, that isn't the case, and the bid has been rejected. 8.5 million pound transfer now again i said it about him yesterday he's unproven we don't know what he's at inside the english game we don't know he's going to be inside the championship if they want more money i.e i don't know 10 million for example you give them 10 million if they reject that bid do we then go and pursue him because i'm thinking to myself that's a lot of money that you know for a strike that isn't proven inside the english league so it makes you think you know which way we're going to go about it now is chris ward still wanting to pursue him we don't know these things but I've seen it, and as far as I was concerned, apparently he was going to sign for us. All I've seen on Twitter the last few days was apparently, you know, the slab was over the line, he was going to sign for us. Everyone get buzzing for it. £8.5 million has been accepted. It hasn't been, it's been rejected. And unfortunately for us, we've got a game in a few days' time, and we still need a striker. And at the moment, it's looking not very promising that we're going to have one in before QPR. I hope we do, but it's not looking very promising that we will. And one more article that I've seen that is actually uh, supposed to be 100% true is that Jacob Greaves from Hull bid rejected. £5 million bid from Middlesbrough. Whole city have reached out and said he's actually not for sale. They're not going to sell Jacob Greaves to anybody, not just Middlesbrough, absolutely anyone. So Borough will now look to pursue other targets. So there we go. So there's two players, two bids rejected. It's not ideal. I can guarantee you this now that the board of Middlesbrough and uh, Chris Wilder and all his team they're going to be a lot more stressed than what we are here. So, yeah, it's annoying for us Butter fans. It's more annoying for them guys. But, you know, it's very, very frustrating the fact that, you know, we need these players in. We're getting bids rejected. Other targets is the only way we can go about things. Who would you go and sign a striker if you were inside Chris Wilder position? And what defender would you go and get? For me personally, I've said it and I say it again. Adam Armstrong's a boy I'll go and get from Southampton. I don't know if we'd actually be able to sign him. I don't know if Southampton would sell. But if they did sell us him, it'd be a dream. Apologies for all the confusion around the uh, transfer speculation. As far as I was concerned, the last one was good to sign for us, and now of course a bit's been rejected. So apologies if I look a little bit like a fool. Listen, I've held my hands up quite and I admitted to it. It is what it is. I can't help it. Do you know what I mean? Try to do these transfer videos, you're gonna get some things wrong, or you know, things are gonna come out that aren't true. All I was trying to do is report on a story I'd seen. But I see, thanks for all the support on that video anyway. It did very, very well, so thank you very much. Hope you guys have enjoyed the support as always. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Apologies about the wind. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.